Uh, Mr. Chichenko, the four-time Moscow heavyweight champion, has been awarded the Master of Sport title. All right. Tom Dagerford is going to make an announcement. Quiet, please. All right, let me have your attention. The rules have changed. There's hardly any rules. Leg kicks are allowed. So you're going to see each other kicking each other in the leg. Don't boo them. This is a different style. They're not padded in their feet. As the referee has announced, kicks are allowed in a particular bout. Also, ladies style. and gentlemen, this fight is freestyle. There'll be no leg pads. And this is for the kick. International Heavyweight Championship. Ten rounds. Introducing first in the red corner. From Moscow, Russia. Weighing at 184 and a half pounds. With a record of ten wins and two losses. Wearing the black trunks with the red stripe. He is the Moscow West champion. Big round of applause for Vladimir Turchenko. Turchenko. And in the blue corner, from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing, weighing into 191 pounds even, with a record of 40 wins, 10 losses, 20 by KO. With the red, white, and blue colors, ladies and gentlemen, the ISKA freestyle heavyweight champion, Billy Kanoa. Kanoa. Ten round. Let's get it on. They brought the fighters to the center of the ring, going over the rules. This particular style is known as freestyle, which is wide open. And here they go. Once again, we start with sweep and kick. Nora comes out. It's a very strong kick and low sweep, which is the first time we've seen the American really going with a low sweep. Yeah, well, in this match right here, the fight is a little different sweep. The one which we saw earlier. Exactly. Which means that they're going to be contacting the uh, inner by back leg, cause knockout. William is not used to doing sweep, so therefore it's a little awkward to him. That was a slip. It wasn't a countdown. Giving him an eight count at this time. As they come back in, William North comes right back. Side kick, trying to force Kuchenko back. He's also not used to getting kicked like that, too. He's a kickboxer, but they're not used to fighting that way. Another sweep by Nor followed yeah. with a high roundhouse kick. Yeah, what you're going to be seeing is a lot of sweep combinations. Not only that, the mat is a little slippery. My students just finished competing on the mat, uh, doing some demonstrations, and I noticed that the mat is very slippery. The freestyle fighting style which you're, which you're using tonight, how much is that different from what we've seen earlier? Well, it's very different because they're allowed to kick lower and also, uh, you know, everything goes in this fight. Let's have a good first, first, round. Good first <laughs> round. Good first round. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to mention, we'd like to thank our promoter, Sean L. Fortis, our producer, Nick Morphy, also the boxing commission. Out. They came out going right at one another. Rather Les strong. Bonanno. A lot fewer punches. Event. Chairman. And of course, Mr. Bob Gibbons from the Treasure Chest Casino. Now, this one, they didn't. want to thank y'all for a wonderful, wonderful show. Right away, hammering at each other. Yeah, these are two world champions from Russia and one from America. And they both have a lot of confidence in what their abilities are, so they're just coming right to it. Now, as far as the scoring is concerned, how would the slip affect the fight if it goes the distance? Well, uh, I don't know because the judges here are not used to scoring this type of fight. Here we go with round two. Kick by Noor. Frontal kicks, pushing 
Kuchenko back. Three left. Quick jab by Kuchenko back. Another quick frontal kick. Yeah! 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 William Norris seems to be doing a little bit better at this time, although his, his punches seem to be a little wide, whereas Chuchenko seemed to be coming more straight. Again, the boxing the style. The is a real focus. They, they have a game plan, and they stick strictly to their game plan. Right now, the mat is getting a little slippery because of the sweatness, and it's going to cause them to fall off an awful lot. Uh-oh, his legs are starting to limber out. Uh, William Kanawha is putting a lot of pressure on the Russian's left leg. As you can see, he can, he's not putting it on the floor, so therefore it's hurt. That's going to cause a problem for him later on. Quick Warrior punches, not cut, which misses. Roundhouse by William Knorr, which Shuchenko counters with some straight jabs. Solid punch. Have a good solid combination now. I think he's hurt. And William has to keep the pressure on him. Schenko just doing Good hooks, job. kicks, constant punches, concentrating on William Knorr in the head, yeah, left really, and right. He's starting to feel more confident, so he's coming into his boxing Papa. techniques and he's Papa. bringing it to Papa. William a little bit more. He's trying to take his legs out by hitting him low which reduces the power that William Knorr has coming back against him. Yeah. Oh. William just let out a spinning back fist that was really, really strong. I think William is going to take it to his rib area now. Real good. Let's hear it out there. Good round. All right. Beginning of third round. A sweep followed by a cross by Kuchenko. They're in close. Going for sweeps, holding one another. He's, he's very effective in terms of taking his legs out. The Russian legs are hurting real bad. Real bad. So right cross and side kick. If he takes away his legs, it also takes away his punching techniques because you have to, in order to throw a good technique, you have to be solid on your, on your feet. William Norris coming out with a lot of low sweeps. Kuchenko's counting with a number of punches. Another sweep by Knorr to the inside of the rush, uh, his left leg. Front kick. Collision in the center round between these two. William is trying to do some uppercuts, which Duchenko is frustrating by holding on to him. Referee breaks him. Knorr brings the attack back to him. Duchenko comes in with some... Combo, babe. Left and a right and left. They're exchanging punches out there. They're in close to one another. William Knorr pushes him. Does another spinning back fist followed by a left hook. These guys are hurt. That spinning back fist is very effective along with that combination. His legs are getting very weary. Very weary. As you can see, the crowd is getting into it. They can see that William has control right now. But the Russian is coming back with combination. Another sweep and takes the, William Knorr takes him down with a sweep to his, to his left leg. And a standing eight count. The crowd is cheering for the USA. There's a timeout by the referee. Russian is saying that he hit him in the groins. I thought it was into the inside thigh area, which is a uh, legal technique. There right now, William is strategy is basically trying to take him out. Okay? Not breaking down the lane. And it's working very effectively. Working very effectively. The game plan was to come in, take out the leg, and then to knock him out. And it's been working very effectively. He started that off with a spinning back fist and followed up with another one. Was he using that as a combination to set him up? Yes. He's, that's his whole game plan. The game plan has been from the beginning. It's a Is that taking a lot of power away from the 
punches of Vladimir Trichenko, who's got more of the boxing style. Exactly. Vladimir has a lot of power in his hands. William is going after his legs, taking his legs out, which weakens up his upper body. Not only that, it's taking the control of him mentally. Right now, he's thinking more about his legs rather than his... Billy! 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 Come on, Billy! Crowd getting behind William. It's a question of whether Vladimir is going to be able to come out for this particular round. I said it's a knockout, ladies and gentlemen. He don't want to come back. It's over with. That evens it up at 2-2. Knockout apiece. We have two wins for America, two wins for Russia. So we have a winning victory for William Kennard, ladies and gentlemen. It's an outstanding winning. He came in with a strategy. He went after his legs. He took his legs out, used his combination. And let me tell you, it was a perfect, perfect game plan. And it was very effective. Ladies and gentlemen, the red corner is unable to answer the bell for the fourth round. The winner by technical knockout, knockout and new champion, Billy Kanoa. Kanoa. The new KICK international World champion. And here to present the belt is Mr. Nick Ferranti. Did you have a particular game plan that you were working on this evening? I've been fighting a lot of tie fights and leg kick fights. I've really been working on the legs. I came out looking for his legs, and I feel that's what did it. I hit him with some good shots on the inner legs, and that's what took him down. When he said I hit him low, I didn't. I got a clean shot in his inner thigh, and down he went. That was my plan. I wanted to break his leg. He's lucky. He's lucky. What are you going to do next? The world. The world is next. The world title. World. Seven weeks. Seven weeks in Mississippi on the coast.